Good morning vlog! Hello! Oh gosh, we have just finished four days in Disney World. We went to every park, well not the water parks, but Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, and Epcot for four consecutive days straight from all the way from opening to closing and not just normal opening. Since we're staying at a Disney resort, we have early entry, which is half an hour before then. And then usually with the buses and stuff, for transportation you have to get on the bus an hour before you want to be at the park anyway we've been waking up at like six and staying all the way until park closing so yeah we are exhausted so today is our rest day we are going to disney springs before we head home tomorrow to go back to the bay area Woo! today we are taking it more easy we're gonna just eat around disney springs maybe watch a movie because there's a movie theater there we'll see what today brings we're going with the flow it's much less hectic and scheduled and planned because all the other four days we were doing food tours in the parks for the main channel and whenever i film for the main channel it's much more like hectic. go 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 we have stuff to hit we have to do all these things but then also we want to enjoy our time and enjoy the rides but yeah today just eating, just vibes, just shopping. Fun. Fun day. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna head to Disney Springs now. Woo! Woo! All right, our food just came. We got the butcher board. So it comes with pulled pork, jalapeno cheddar sausage, brisket, and smoked chicken. And then we also added the ribs because we realized that their butcher board didn't come with ribs. So we added it as an option and we wanted to try the ribs. We also have some slaw. We got mac and cheese, more slaw, Brussels sprouts, and cornbread. Let's eat. <laughs> also, this restaurant was on the Michelin Guide in 2022. Let's do sausage first. Cheers. Mmm. Snappy. Mmm. Snappy and juicy. Oh, I got the jalapeno. It's a little spicy. Not bad. Very flavorful. Look at that brisket. It looks so juicy. All right, cheers. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good brisket. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like melt in your mouth tender, but it is decently yeah, tender. I like the flavoring too. And I like the I flavor. Like it. It's very smoky, yeah. Cold pork. Cheers. Mmm, not bad. They all have really good flavor. Yeah, similar smokiness. Yeah, very smoky. I feel like pork pork usually is more moist usually. Yeah, it's but, a little more on the dry side. Yeah, this one's more on the dry side. But the flavoring is so good. Flavor is good. Mm -hmm. Should we do chicken? Sure. Cheers. Mmm. Again, good flavor. Yeah. The rub they put on the outside is really flavorful. These are the ribs. Look at that glaze on top. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I just realized I have two ribs. <laughs> Oops. Wow. Tender though. It's sweet. It's sticky. It's smoky. And the meat is just so tender. Like I just. Take it off the bone, no problem. Mm. Mm. Bird doesn't really like barbecue, but he says it's good. So definitely think this is worth a visit. Let's look at this mac and cheese. Ooh, wow. Those breadcrumbs on top, they look so crispy. I like how the macaroni is like little shells. Fun to eat. Cheers. Mm. It's so creamy. Really creamy. Like very thick and creamy. That cheese sauce. Wow. It's good. It's good, right? It's good mac and cheese. Bird doesn't even like mac and cheese, and he said it's good. Crispy Brussels sprouts. Cheers. Mm. Nice flavor. Could be crispier, but not bad. Oh. Even the flaw is really good. Yeah. It almost has like the taste of potato salad but in a swap form. Everything's really good. This place should come to downtown Disney in Anaheim. <laughs> so wild that they have a Uniqlo at Disney Springs. Look at these. We got Judy Hopps and Nick. Donald Duck. Stitch, that's cute. Oh, this is cute too, Mickey Mouse. And a Mickey and Minnie in a heart. That's adorable. They even have a Rapunzel one. We got Snow White. 
Ooh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Look at this whole wall of stuff. Wow, they don't have these. And the normal Uniqlo's. Uh, oh my God, Brad, look at this. Oh yeah, that's cute. And tote bag. Oh, and they have a Bo Peep one. And the Nemo and Piglet. Wow. They have a bunch over here too. Oh my god, these are so cute. This Uniqlo has way more stuff. And they have these little stuffed animals. They're so soft and squishy. Time for the World of Disney Store. It looks huge. Look at these balloon pillows. Mm. I love squishing pillows. I like how they have this detail. Oh yeah, it even has a little... Belly button. Belly button of the balloon. <laughs> Oh, cute. It's embroidered, it's embroidered. Look at this, bird. This is adorable. We have been looking for this shirt like all week long, and we can only find it in like 3XL. A bird wants to find it in a in a large, but alas. It's not to be. Okay. And I, I tried to look for it on Shop Disney, but I couldn't find it. I mean, I guess I'll try to look again. They have this whole section for ears and hats. Let's see, what's Bird looking at? What's this? Ooh, Spider-Man. That's cute. Kind of a cute hat. I haven't seen that one before. You like it? Yeah, that's right. I think I can come back for it if I decide to buy it. True, I don't think it'll sell out. Yeah. Oh, Winnie and then the they have Winnie the Pooh ears. That's cute. These I actually have. Oh my gosh, Moana. I haven't seen this one. Oh yeah, and then I actually found these here earlier this week and I bought them because I was looking for these for like a long time and I could never find them in Disneyland. But they have them at Disney World, which is nice. Oh, look at these Leia ears. Yeah. They look like cinnamon buns. That's Darth Vader. Oh, wow. Those are kind of cool. Wait, put them on. <laughs> wow, so scary. No, I am your father. Okay. Let's see, the, let's see the cape. <laughs> it's like a veil. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's also these sweatshirts. Look at those. One Mickey, one Minnie, one Donald, and one Goofy. Look at this jacket. It's like a corduroy texture. And it has a fuzzy Mickey and an M behind it. Stumbled across this store. It's right by the World of Disney shop. And it has Lots of like bath bombs and soaps and candle stuff. And look, they have little Mickey and Minnie soap bars. Look how adorable those are. Like, look at this. It's so cute. Look at this heart one. These would be perfect for gifts, like souvenirs. And then they even have Mickey bath bombs. This is a really cool shop. I'm glad I came in because I had no idea what it was, but we just stumbled across it and they have all this cool stuff in here. Now we're at the famous Gideon's Bakehouse. This is, I feel like the, probably like the number one most recommended thing in Disney Springs. And look at this long line. <laughs> the other night we came and we joined their virtual queue. So we could just put our name down and then they would text us when it was our time. It was about an hour later. And then we just wait in line. But I think today, or at least right now, they're not doing the virtual queue. They gave us this card. We got the February specials here. Also right across from the Gideon's Bakehouse line, there's this place called Raglan Road, which I've heard really good things about. It's like an Irish pub. I don't know if we will get a chance to try it today because we're gonna try a bunch of other things and it's like a table service restaurant. But yeah, if you guys like Irish food, definitely check this place out. It's supposed to be really good. It's so cool in here and it smells so freaking good. Look at this decor. This is the menu if you want to pause to read. All right, we just went to Gideon's Bakehouse and got our cookie. We just went with the classic chocolate chip. Last time we came, we were really lucky because we were here during their hot cookie hour, which they only have twice a day. I think two to 3 p.m. and seven to 8 p.m. or something like that. And during that time, you can have their cookies served warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. And it was super good. But let's try the cookie on its own. 
Mm. Oh, whoa. It's so chocolatey. I mean, look how many chocolate chips they put all over it. And there's already chocolate all over my hands. Hella chocolate. A lot of chocolate. <laughs> is it milk chocolate? There is some like dark chocolate vibe. It's like dark chocolate. Or maybe semi-sweet. Yeah. I have chocolatey fingers, but it's good. If you like thick cookies, because some people don't like thick cookies. Bird is one of them. He likes thin cookies. And he also likes his cookies to not be soft. Very More fun to eat. Very strange. No. Mm -hmm. But if you like thick cookies, you will like this. If you like a lot of chocolate, you will also like this. And then we also got the cookies and cream cold brew. Of course, we're using our Maymay straw. Mm. Oh, it's good. You're gonna like it. It's sweet. It does have a cookies and cream flavor, and it does taste like coffee, but it's not like bitter or anything, which is nice. Very smooth. I'm also really thirsty right now. Uh, okay, better try. Coffee. Tastes good. Yeah, it's actually it's smooth. really good. It's Very like a smooth. smooth coffee. Mm -hmm. It's like smooth. It has kind of a creamy taste, but it's mm. not like hella creamy when you look at it. Yeah, the cookies and cream flavor is pretty faint, but it lets the coffee kind of shine and yeah. be bold. I mean, I think it tastes enough like cookies and cream to call it a cookies and cream cold brew. Mm. Give to a bird. Hey, 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 I want some. Give to bird. <laughs> bird, give it back. <laughs> it will, yeah. Mm. I am impressed. It's better than the Disney cold brews. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are at Morimoto and they have two restaurants here. So Morimoto Asia is like their table service restaurant. Apparently it's very expensive and it's like a full meal type thing. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to try it today, but they do have a quick service location right next to it called Morimoto Street Food. So we decided to try that instead. First up, we have this pork egg roll. You can see it looks bubbly and crispy on the outside. And then I got some sweet and sour sauce to eat it with. Pour that on there. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. It's not really exactly what I think of when I think of an egg roll wrapper. Like the wrapper you can see is thicker than others that I've had. This one even has, looks like it has multiple layers. Like, I feel like usually egg roll wrapper is like a thin, crispy layer. But this one, it's definitely thicker, you can tell. So it kind of makes it chewier and also not as crispy. The filling though is not bad. There's some pork and vegetables in there and it is seasoned nicely. So good flavor. Just the wrapper itself actually, not a huge fan. Then we also got their saimin, which is actually a dish from Hawaii. It's like a noodle soup. It's supposed to be very comforting. And here they add some pork, fish cake, green onion, and a soft boiled egg. It's actually pork ribs in there. Look at those bones. Let's check out these noodles. Whoa, the noodles actually look good. Look at that. They look bouncy and springy. Looks delicious. Oh, look at that noodle bowl. Let's give it a try. Mm. The noodles are cooked very nicely. They have a little bit of bite to them and they hold on to the broth well too because I can taste that dashi broth. Not a bad noodle soup. The noodles and the broth are nice and comforting. A lot of umami flavor in the broth. It's like light yet flavorful. Our soft boiled egg got a little messed up, but let's give it a try. Mm, nicely marinated, a little jammy in the center. Not a bad option. I definitely like this better than that pork egg roll. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, not bad, right? If you're craving some Asian food, I feel like this is not a bad place to choose. Yeah. What are these guys called? Those are called Naruto. Oh, believe it. <laughs> This is so nice. There's people sailing on the water. Wow, it's a car, but it's a boat. It's a boat car. How does that work? Technology. <laughs> it's so interesting to compare it to the downtown Disney that we know in California. And they do have some of the same restaurants as downtown Disney. Like they have Earl of Sandwich, which we have there, which we really like. 
and they have salt and straw, Wetzel's pretzels, but that's like, you can find that at any mall. Like I mentioned before, they have Ghirardelli, which they don't have at Downtown Disney, but they have it in California Adventure. But also the California Downtown Disney is adding a bunch of new stuff in the coming years. Like they're gonna have a Dentai Fung there. Oh, they also have a Splitsville here, which they also have in Anaheim. So that's another same thing. But anyway, we have a ride to our next location, which is Swirls on the Water. And this is Swirl in the Water. Oh, good. They have uh, Dole Whip flights here. So I am very intrigued. I knew I had to get a Dole Whip flight. I think they rotate their flavors pretty often as well. So we'll see what flavors they have today. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at what we got. We got a Dole Whip light. So the front one is pineapple and vanilla. We have cherry and lime, and then cotton candy and lemon. Very interesting combinations. And like I mentioned earlier, it seems like they're always switching up the flavors. And also right now they have a Little Mermaid float and a Rapunzel cone, which is super cool. I saw everyone getting the Rapunzel cone and it looks so pretty. Let's try the lemon and cotton candy. Oh, whoa, it's like a sweet and tart contrast. Hey, you come try. I got a lot of lemon in mine. Oh, I think you got some of that, um, I don't know what this is, some sort of like lemon curd or something. Mm, could be. Tastes good though. Mm -hmm. Very lemony. Yeah, it's lemony, but it also has the sweet from the cotton candy. Mm, cool. Pretty good. Next we have cherry and lime. Oh, wait, I just remembered. Didn't we have a cherry and lime one? at the Tropical Hideaway in Disneyland before, and it was oh, bad. Yeah. It was a holiday one, do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, well, right. with that in mind, let's hope it's good. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like it's better than the one that was at the Tropical Hideaway. It's not my favorite flavor combo. Yeah, but it's not It's not my favorite. I like the lemon and cotton candy one yeah. better. Also, I feel like the Dole Whip here isn't as creamy. It's not. These Dole Whips are a bit more icy than yeah. the ones you get in the park. The park ones are like really creamy. Yeah. Last but not least, we have pineapple vanilla. Oh, that, this a classic. pretty good, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, this is good. This one. But That's you're right, the, best one. the Dole Whip in the parks is creamier. Yeah, I don't know why. These ones are branded as Dole Whip too. Or like on the menu, mm. it says Dole Pineapple, Dole really? Lemon, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Rain breeze. And this place is right by the Rainforest Cafe. And every now and then they have like fire shooting out of the volcano. It's very cool. And you can feel the fire, like the heat from it. Also, because I feel like people are gonna ask where I got these ears, I will link it in the description box. It's from this girl who sells them on Instagram and they're extremely hard to get. So if you want to get them, you have to follow her Instagram page. I'll put it in the description box. Our rest of the plans for the day, we are going to hit up the Lego store, of course. If you guys don't know, Bird is obsessed with Lego. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. And then we're going to eat some more food. I think we're still deciding which restaurants exactly we're going to, but once we finish eating, we're also going to go to the movie theater, I think, because they released Turning Red in the theater because when it first premiered, it was on Disney Plus only, but now they're releasing it in the theater and we want to go watch it because we love Turning Red. But yeah, we're going to finish up these Dole and then head to the Lego store. Lego. Also, they have this huge dragon in front of the Lego store. What's this dragon's name, Bird? I feel like its name is like Earl or Puff. Lego dragon name, Brickly. Brickly? <laughs> no, you were not close. Brickly is the mascot of many Lego stores. Oh, it's a Lego mascot. Indeed. Oh, I didn't know that. A closer view of Brickly. He's cute. And then they have these life-size versions of Star Wars characters. And then we got Sorcerer Mickey. <laughs> Sorcerer Bird. <laughs> Whoa. Free gift. Oh, a free gift? With purchases of $200 or more, Bird, we're not getting the free gift. But look at this dude, he's so cute. He is very cute. But no, we're not spending $200, honey. We'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. No. Downtown Disney one isn't as well stocked. This one is pretty stocked. You know these sets used to come in little bags? Yeah. They moved it to this. So oh, now you can't feel them. You can't feel them? No! Yeah. That's how we got the, the Disney minifigs that we wanted. This is a cute set. It's like a video camera. And then we got 
some minifigs here. Oh, they have a Peter Pan one. It's cute. Yeah, with Peter Pan and Wendy flying over London. Really expensive though. How much is it? Oh, 60 bucks? 60. Oh, it's new. Oh my God, and there's Tinkerbell on top. It came out last year. Ah. Oh, it's a mini castle. I like how these, they're not too big. Yeah, so, they're like display pieces. Yeah, they're like little display pieces. Because a lot of the Lego sets are too big. We don't have space for them in our house. And then there's also this Agrabah one. I haven't seen this one before. This one came out recently, like this summer. Oh. This set is a Dune Ornithopter. Bird has been talking about this set for months. And he's literally been asking me if he could get it for months. And I keep, cool. I keep telling him that we don't have enough space in our house. This thing is huge. But it folds up. What do you mean it folds the up? The wings can expand and fold up. And then see that little lever on the top? Where? This the red, red thing? Yeah. yeah, if you press that, it flaps its wings. Very cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. Honey, we don't have that much space in our house. It's a marvel in technology, I tell you. Okay. Bird wants to move all my stuff away so he can have space for his Lego. <laughs> Look at this cute Lego mural. It's like made of Lego, right? These are these are Lego bricks. Very cool. Okay, we are at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, which is a comfort food, like Southern cuisine type of place. And I got a lot of recommendations to come here. So we knew we had to put it on our list. We also have to eat fast because we are trying to catch our movie. It technically already started. So let's be quick. I got their famous fried chicken. It looks very good. It comes with a drum, a wing, and a breast or thigh. I can't tell. Mm. There's a decent crunch on the outside from the batter. There appears to be some parts of it that don't really have a lot of batter on it, which is interesting. It comes with this like dipping sauce. I'm thinking it's gravy. It kind of tastes like gravy and it's also hot. So when I dip the chicken in this, it's so good. Mm. Mm. This is like liquid gold. It adds so much flavor. It's creamy. I don't know what else to say. It's just delicious. Bird ordered the catfish sandwich because he loves catfish. So he is kindly letting me try some. And it comes with some of their house-made barbecue chips. Oh, mmm. This is actually crispier than the chicken. The bun is nice and soft. It's toasted as well. I really like the bun actually. And then the seasoning on the catfish is really nice. I'm getting you get like a little bit of a peppery flavor. It's nice with the tomato and the lettuce. Not bad. I do think the fried chicken is good and they give hefty portions here too. But what really makes it amazing is this gravy. Like that just takes it to the next level. Okay, we finished watching Turning Red and it was so good in the theater. Like I've seen that movie probably 10 times on Disney Plus and watching it in the theater just made it that much better. So if it's still in the theater when this comes out, when you see this, definitely go watch it because it really makes a difference. But anyway, we are at Chicken Guy, which is a very popular restaurant here. And it's also owned by Guy Fieri. It's like his restaurant. And I do love me some diners, drive-ins and dives. So I'm very excited for this. We got the hot tenders and you can choose between three, four or five tenders. And we got the three. And then it comes with two sauces, which they have a lot of different sauces here. Like they have, I think, maybe like 12 sauces, but apparently they used to have like over 20 and they narrowed them down. I don't know why they got rid of a bunch of them, but anyway, even though it only came with two sauces, you can add any additional sauce for 50 cents. So we went ahead and got three. So we got the special sauce, the Nashville hot honey, and the donkey sauce. We're doing the special sauce first. I assume this is gonna be like a comeback sauce type yeah. deal. Okay, cheers. I like the sauce, very flavorful. It's creamy, but a little tangy. Yeah. It is similar to comeback sauce, I think. There is a spicy seasoning on the outside. And the chicken, when you look at it, it kind of looks dry, but it's not really dry. It's actually like decently tender and juicy. And I like that spicy seasoning on the outside. 
it's packing some heat because I can feel, it, feel it. Yeah. It's not like hella, hella, hella spicy. It's not like hell and raised level, but there's definitely heat there, which I'm pleasantly surprised that they delivered. All right, let's try the donkey sauce next. Hey, cheers. I feel like I didn't taste any. Let me get some more. It's supposed to have roasted garlic, mayo, Worcestershire, and lemon or something like that. It tastes a little bit of like garlic. I the spice of the chicken over our game. I was gonna say that. I feel like because we got the hot tenders, all we can taste is the, the tenders, like the seasoning. And we can't really taste the donkey sauce much. So this one might be better if you just get plain tenders and not the hot one. All right, let's try the hot honey. Okay, cheers. Oh, it's sweet, spicy, but the sweetness actually helps with the spiciness of the tenders itself. Remember, it's not super honey y it's just kind of sweet. I think the special sauce is my favorite though, out of the three. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. We are in consensus. We like the special sauce the best. Also, the breading on this. It's more like a breading on a chicken tender that you would get at like an amusement park, if that makes any sense. Because if you go to an actual like hot chicken restaurant and you get a tender, their batter is more like light and crispy. This is more of that kind of bready batter rather than the like light and crispy batter, if that makes sense. But it's still good. Still has a crunch. Not bad, Guy Fury. We went to Flavor Town. Hello vlog, we are back at the hotel now and we have to pack because we're leaving tomorrow. So we're gonna pack, we're probably gonna watch some Love is Blind because they just came out with a new season on my birthday, which is Valentine's Day, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe our trip is already over. It literally feels like it just started. It's been really fun. I actually really liked this resort that we stayed in. It was very convenient because we are right next to the Skyliner. So I would definitely recommend booking a hotel that's on the Skyliner route, which there's only four hotels. The Caribbean Beach, which is the one that we're staying at, the Art of Animation, Pop Century, and Riviera Resort. And before you check in, you can actually request that your room is near the Skyliner. So definitely do that, because that's what we did. And we were able to walk to the Skyliner, like no issue. Oh, also out of all the four parks, our favorite was Epcot by far, I think. For me, I think Epcot was first place, then Magic Kingdom, then Hollywood Studios, then Animal Kingdom. What about you, Bird? I like Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, and then Hollywood, Hollywood. Studios. This is last place for yeah, you? So. Wait, why do you like Animal Kingdom second? I like the greenery. Yeah, I guess that's nice. Yeah, there's just less to do in Animal Kingdom and it closes early. But yeah, I do actually like Disney Springs better than Downtown Disney in Anaheim. It's way bigger, there's way more stuff to do, there's way more shops and restaurants, and the food is generally better at Disney Springs than Downtown Disney, at least I think so. Do you agree? I agree. Yeah? yeah. But however, I would say for park food, I think Disneyland in California wins over most of the things that we tried in J Disney World in general. There were some pretty cool rides here in Disney World. Actually, Epcot was my favorite for both food and rides. And the rides that I loved in Epcot were the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. That one we had to get a virtual queue for, which was super easy at 7 a.m. You just sit there and just refresh the button. At like 6.58, we just started refreshing and we just kept refreshing all the way until seven and we got a virtual queue no problem but yeah that ride was so cool i really wish they would bring it to california because wow it was probably the best ride that we rode all trip like across all four parks that was our favorite ride and then also the tron ride in magic kingdom we also had to get a virtual queue for that but it was super worth it i heard it's actually better if you ride it at night which unfortunately our boarding group was called during the daytime so we didn't get to ride it at night but even during the daytime, that ride was really, really cool. It was probably my second favorite. We really liked the Ratatouille ride in Epcot and also the Frozen ride in Epcot was kind of nice too, actually. In Hollywood Studios, our favorite ride was Rise of the Resistance, but we have that in 
Disneyland California. Magic Kingdom, favorite ride was Tron, but their Space Mountain was really cool. It was different from the one in Disneyland in California, although it doesn't have music. It was different, it was cooler, and I just wish they would add music because that would make it actually way better than the Disneyland one. And then in Animal Kingdom, oh, we got to ride the Flight of Passage, the Avatar ride, that one was really cool. And I also really liked Expedition Everest. That one's like a roller coaster that I really liked. So yeah, overall, we had a really good time. We ate a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. And I can't believe we did early entry to park closing like every single day for four days straight. That is wild. I thought I was too old to do that, but apparently I'm younger than I think. Yay. I'm young at heart. <laughs> I'm young at heart. We're young at heart. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice to recap our Disney trip, but we're gonna head home tomorrow. And I miss the cats and I can't wait to just sleep because <laughs> We are really, big nap. yeah, not just a big nap. We're gonna sleep for like days because we are lacking sleep so much. Like each day we only got like four, maybe five, if we were lucky, hours of sleep. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna pack. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs>well actually it's not morning anymore but we are at the airport we had brunch with our friends at the wilderness lodge it was actually a really fun experience so definitely would recommend it's like kind of western themed and then the waiters are really funny and stuff and i don't know i don't really know how to explain it it's just a good time so i would definitely recommend it but yeah now we're at the airport our flight got delayed who was surprised and so we got a sandwich to share from Jersey Mike's. We got the club sub. I think it comes with turkey, provolone, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion. I got pickles as well. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna watch Love is Blind and hopefully we will be on our way soon.